Stop it. Well, I mean, we'll probably start now. Stop it. Welcome to a new episode <coughs> of the Average Two Podcast. I'm Ross, of course, with me and it's Alex. Yes, hello. And uh, I just I say a big special welcome to any uh, future career prospects that are out there. <laughs> <laughs> please, <laughs> please hire us. And, uh, I don't need hiring. I'm well. I meant us. I'm good for the time spe- being. Specifically me yeah but uh it's been uh, about a week since yeah we've done it so we've seen well it's actually been a week since i uploaded that last one but we recorded yeah. that a week before yeah because i'm just fucking lazy <laughs> i hope that the people that are gonna hire me haven't have stopped listening so, already yeah. I, hope, I hope they just stopped it first <laughs> yeah. so just give it a couple we'll give it a couple seconds and uh yeah. and see but uh so there's been absolutely so much news has that? No. <laughs> but we'll start with, uh, there was a trailer for the Star Wars. Did you yeah, so I'm so excited. I watched yeah. it about five times. Well, that's just fucking sad because it wasn't very good. I don't care. Ha. Yeah, no. Uh, what did you think of it? I think it looks incredible. Oh, I'm excited. I hated how the big zinger was just that C-3PO thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm just going to look at me friends. <laughs> yeah, that's a great impression. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's my yeah. And then Palpatine at the end, and I'm hoping it's not a head in a jar. Huh? Could you, like Palpatine at the end, where he's on like the little. Oh, I didn't see it, I don't remember that. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, I only barely watched it once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Palpatine at the end. Or well, well, the back of him. Which I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to seeing him again and explaining how he, uh, how he survived that ungodly fall. Yeah, no, that'd be quite cool. Yeah. Is it um, the same guy? Is it Ian? Yeah, it's the same guy. Ah, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, because he's pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. And I can't wait. No, that would be good. Yeah. Uh, what else has happened? We found out that fucking <laughs> Doctor Sleep comes out and it's two yeah. and a half hours. I'm not sure how we're feeling about that. Disgraceful. That's uh, not fun. Absolutely. I was buzzing for it. Now they've just ruined my, my buzz for it. They've yeah. killed it with that. There's the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean the reboot is being officially developed now by some. Is there a reboot for the it? people? Do you know that TV show Chino- <coughs> Chernobyl? Yes. I hope I'm saying that right. Chernobyl. I always, say, I always, yeah. always say it wrong. Uh, yeah, they're doing a reboot for the Pirates of the Caribbean. How does that okay. sound? Not interesting. Really, you're not interested in seeing another no. Pirates? Oh, okay. What's a no? Yeah, but is, what about if it's not with if it's like completely new characters? No, I'm not interested in the Pirates oh, of the Caribbean. Fuck you, we're still going to see it. No. Joker overtook uh, Deadpool. Deadpool. For the, yeah. What was it for? Oh, highest grossing, high re- highest grossing R rated movie. Ever, yeah. Not just superhero movie. Yeah, that's what I was ever. Thinking. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Fair enough. Ryan Reynolds did his nice little thank you on Twitter. Yeah, it's a shame. I think Ryan Reynolds deserves it for Deadpool. But yeah. Oh, well. Um, um, will you wait till Deadpool 3 and it will. I know. I was thinking that the other day when it when I saw it overtook it, but um, whether they do it or not, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, they should. I think the money's there. I mean, they'd be stupid oh, not they, to. They should do it, yeah. It's just, Deadpool's just a massive cash cow. <laughs> and I want them to beat that horse yeah. to death. Also, um, did you see Martin Scorsese kind of retracted what he said a little bit? I didn't really I know, I didn't see that. I didn't see that at all. He basically said that um, uh, w- what he meant was Marvel and uh, superhero movies are a different form of cinema. That's not what he said. But when he, yeah, because when he said that they're not cinema, he just meant that they're a different form of cinema. I don't know why he bothered to, if he was don't trying even to backtrack. Your, don't but... even open your mouth, Martin. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. You're only like five threes. So shut up. He's disrespected one of the greatest <laughs> filmmakers of all time. I don't give a fuck. I really Keisha? My future career prospects aren't listening to this. Now nah. you just get <laughs> internship with Martin Cortez. Of of <laughs> <laughs> also, this is the guy. We <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much. Um, mm. I, think I think that's, that's pretty, pretty much, much it. it. God. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So we're getting on. So we've seen four films. So we have four absolutely fantastic films to talk about today. Mm. I think that um, we should probably get Abominable out of the way first because that's the one I remember least. Yeah. So, um, what was Abominable? Uh, I'm trying to find it now, but I can't find it. It's about an abominable Yeti snowman thing that gets lost in. Was it China? Is it China? I don't want. I think that might be a lazy stereotype, but 
it's lost in China, I think. And then they have to, oh, let's, let's get you back to Everest with the help of the little girl and her friends. That's pretty much the story. I think it's Shanghai. Where? That's China. Yeah, Shanghai. China. Yeah. Good. Nice one. Yeah, uh, there's a Yeti that needs to go home, basically. Yeah, yeah, he needs to go home. And these, te- these teenagers help him out to go home. Yeah, and the teenagers are Yi, Pei, Yi. and Jin. Jin. There you I go. I think that's the three, yeah. Yeah. What did you think yeah. of it? It was alright. Yeah. All right. I think it was. <laughs> I think it wasn't terrible. I, I enjoyed some small parts of it. Yeah, before. and the, especially that one bit. I'm, with the um, this if you if you're an animated movie and you manage to work in fix you by Coldplay, then yeah. you're gonna have my vote. Yeah. So they put in a classic soundtrack. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit weird. There were some cool visuals in it. Yeah, it looked pretty but, cool. I think yeah. it does. Does it deserve its seven point one rating on IMDb? Probably not. Probably mm. deserves six and a half. I reckon. No, I reckon seven's probably fair. You're then. wrong. Just because it could have been worse. I mean, there was, well, yeah. it's not very. It, we didn't laugh at it that much, and it's not very funny. But it looked no. some bits of it looked. Yeah, nice. I didn't even. Cool. I didn't really even like the look of the yeti the whole time. He looked fucking weird. How he just because yeah. he didn't have a, really a nose. He just <laughs> no, got, he just he had got a two really eyes flat and face. Big smile. It looks yeah. like if you if someone was going to graffiti a smiley face, they just do the two eyes and yeah. big smile. Yeah, that's what it looked like. So I didn't really like him that much, but. No. Yeah, it was fine. But yeah, it was a nice story. Would you watch it again? No. No. But then again, why would we? Exactly. But That's just weird. It was, yeah, it was fine. It was a little heartfelt, you know. Yeah. Five-year-olds would love this. Only hour 40. You can't go wrong with that. Easy to watch. A few bits dragged. A few bits dragged. Little chuckles here and there. Coldplay fix you. Coldplay. I mean, play. You're done and dusted out yeah. of 40. Yeah, easy. Can't go wrong. And for some reason, Eddie Izzard is one of the voices. Is he? Yeah, he's the, like the... Burnish. Who was Burnish? The oh, the old geezer. Explorer, yeah. Yeah. So fair enough. Oh, fair play. Oh, don't immediately change mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think next we'll go to Gemini Man. Oh, oh, oh. Because this was... Oof, I mean, this is oh. just... Well, what are you? What are this you is well? probably one of the worst films of the year. Well, what are you doing? I know what it's doing? fucking awful. What are you doing? Well, no, the only thing I liked seeing in this was just Clive Owen because obviously, as yeah. an avid Clive Owen fan, I like seeing that. Yeah. But apart from that, this movie is absolutely shit. This is dreadful. It's the most predictable thing. Yeah. And obvi- not predict. That's not a pre- saying predictable as in like a we we yeah. we got everything before it happened. It's just. No, it's just anyone's going to go into this and you know exactly beat for beat what's yeah. going to happen. Oh, and yeah. Even like the, they sort of have like a twisty thing at the end, mm. which I won't spoil. Well, not really a twist, but you know, like they, yeah. something happens at the end and it's like, oh, I wonder who this could be. Yeah. And it's obviously, it when they, you know, reveal is you know who it's going to be. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, it's, it's it ridiculous. was. It is probably one of the most stupid story lines yeah. I've ever seen. Do you want to quickly do the storyline, just so people? I'm sure people know it anyway. But um, an old hitman faces a younger clone of himself. Yes, and Clive Owen made the clone, and yeah. Mary Elizabeth Winstead yeah. is in this movie for probably no reason. Yeah. They just did that casual. She's just in it as a sidekick, yeah. and oh, I'm just going to need you to strip now because. This is a 15, and whoa, look, we got a girl in it to strip. Whoa. We got some 15 year old lads in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So she was just in it. Yeah, yeah. that's really all she did. Benedict Wong was in it. He's yeah. quite funny. I, I, I did yeah. like him a little bit. But yeah. um, terrible. Even like Will Smith was all. He, that DH Will Smith, ooh, L- I didn't it, like it at j- all. The bit at the end where they're walking around the pit. Yeah, yeah. yeah looked. Awful. It just looks so bizarre. It looks dreadful. Yeah. The budget. What budget do they have on this? Because they. Oh, a lot. I've got it. So here. how did it look that bad? 158 million. Because yeah, I think they had to CGI that for yeah. every scene. How did it look that bad? Yeah. I don't get it. I all the fights. You, all the fights are fucking awful as well. Yeah. It just looks shit. He tried to. I saw he tried to. He filmed it in a higher frame rate as well. So. I mean, we didn't see it in the yeah. high frame rate. We just saw it regular. But yeah. I wouldn't like to see this movie in a high frame rate. 
No, I don't. That's not no. for me. I mean, this movie's fucking. It's hard to. It's really hard to look at it's anyway. But just terrible. It is. It's just a bit weird. It's weird for Ang Lee to do this. How do you go from making like the life of Pi and yeah. Brokeback Mountain to you just make a, a bang average action generic film. yeah action film with Will Smith versus Will Smith? Like. Yeah. Who's ideal? That's got to be Will Smith's ego. Yeah, place. there we go. Who, I'm blaming one of these screen like David Billy. David Billy Ray. <laughs> David <laughs> Billy bad. Ray. Or Darren. Oh, I reckon this was Darren as well. Darren? He's in that, yeah. His first major screenwriting credit was Shrek Forever After. Has Will Smith made... Has, it, has Will Smith ever been in an actual decent film? Uh, this is a realisation that I had from someone else, that he's not actually been in a really great movie when mm. you look at his films. If you look at, like, a, like yeah, he's been nominated for Oscars, but he hasn't won any. Hitch wasn't that bad. No, but he, like, if you were to make a film of, like, the top 100 movies of all time... Oh, yeah, I don't think Will Smith... I don't think there is a Will Smith film that would be on there. Because, granted, people... When people say, and I've said this to people, and they all go... Um, have you seen Bad Boys? It's like, yeah, but yeah, you're not going to find Bad Boys on the top 200 films of all time. No. Or no. fucking, like, even really The Pursuit of Happiness isn't really going to be... I mean, no. it's a good, he's done good movies, and he's done classic movies, yeah. but he's not done any world-class, like, yeah. fucking, that's going to do well. When you go, what, what's your greatest film of all time? No one's going to say a Will Smith film. No, exactly. They might say, "Oh, I Robot's my favourite because yeah. I Robot's the best movie and probably his best film." Yeah, but no, it's not. I like. Uh, I, I do like with this Gemini Man. So yeah, basically, it's shit and don't go see it. It's, yeah. it's really. It's dreadful. Don't yeah. waste your time. It's predictable and boring, and characters just get killed off randomly like it's nothing, and yeah. it just ends exactly how you think it's going to end. But Clive yeah. Owen's great, so see it for him. But, yeah, yeah, this was. This has been de- in development hell for twenty years. What? It's been around for 20 years. Yeah. How has this been around for 20 years? So, Tony Scott, Curtis Hansen, and Joe Carnahan, they're all pretty good filmmakers, we're all going to try and do it at some point with Harrison Ford, Mel Gibson, and Sean Connery. We're going to oh. be in it at one point. I okay. guess maybe they probably couldn't have done it with um, them at the time, I would yeah. guess. Uh, with um, technology at the time, so. Yeah. Yeah, but no, no I wouldn't recommend going to see this movie. Nope. We're it's, here to film out all the crap, so you don't have to go and see it. Yes, and it's it's flopped anyway, so... Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, uh, so we'll move on from that. What do you want to talk about next? Because these two are more recent, so I don't mind. Uh, let's move on to Zombie Land. Hi, Zombie Land. Double tap. Now, did you like the first one, Zombie Land? Yeah. Good. It's world class. It is. Like, it's definitely... Like that first zombie land has like a massive cult following behind oh, it. Oh yeah, people have been crying out for a sequel. Yeah. Like, I've never wanted a sequel because I would always, I was always nervous because I really yeah. liked it. I was nervous about what would happen. Yeah. But now we've seen it. What's the story of Double Tap? Just the trailers don't really give anything no. away, so don't really. I guess you could just say, that, yeah. The four of them are back. The little rock goes a wall. Yeah. Okay. Goes yeah. missing. And they have to go find her. Yeah, that's essentially it. Yeah. And um, what did you think of it? I thought it wasn't horrendous, but it wasn't great either. It mm, was... Yeah, but I really liked it. You really liked it? I really Well, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I could ever enjoy a sequel. Oh yeah, I enjoyed parts of it. I didn't enjoy all of it. I think that, <clears throat> though, if it, all things considered, this is probably the best version of that. Oh yeah, when we saw the, when everyone saw the again. trailer, I think we were all like, "Oh, that's going to be terrible." Yeah, and it actually wasn't. It no, wasn't exactly. terrible at all. And I did go into this thinking, "Oh, this is going to be shit, isn't it?" Yeah, but um, it wasn't that bad. No, yeah, it's really enjoyable. It's it's pretty. It's an easy. It's a really easy watch. Yeah, it's so now yeah, hour and a half of your time it gets going mm. well fast as yeah. well. It literally picks straight up and gets going, which yeah. I love. Yeah, get straight into it, and the four of them are really good. Yeah, it does feel exactly the same as the first one, even though there's been you know ten year difference, yeah. and it's still got the whole the fun little quirks of the first yeah. one, like the mm-hmm. kill of the week and the yeah. year, and no, yeah, yeah, no, I thought it was really good. I, I'm, so I just can't believe they managed to get all four of them back together, to especially um, Emma Stone. Emma Stone, yeah, exactly. But she, uh, you thought she? I think she was too big for this. 
Yeah, but no, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you came back to it. They all look like they're having really fun, a lot yeah. of fun doing it as well. I wasn't yeah. sure how I was, how I felt about them like incorporating all these new characters, like the, the blonde girl, I forget her name, um, you know, that, uh, Luke Wilson and that nerdy guy. Yeah. But, um, you know, I thought those kind of gags worked quite well. And, yeah. Yeah, I guess they kind of had to, like, they had to kind of bring in people because you can't, you know, yeah. what else are they going to do? You, you've got zombies. I mean, yeah, you can't really just yeah. focus on that the whole time. No. But no, and I liked how they changed it so that um, they had zombies with the different levels. Yeah, you've got that's the cool. stupid ones yeah. and the, the really good ones and the, yeah. the T-1000s or yeah. whatever they call them. T-M. Yeah, those are cool little names for them. <coughs> yeah, so I like that. Everyone's, everyone's great in it. The only person that I really didn't like was that Madison character, Zoe Diach. Yes. I, yeah, I she's hated, a little bit annoying. I hated that character. Mm. But I don't think she was too bad. Plus, yeah. No, yeah, it's not too bad. Also, um, I really liked, I won't spoil it, but the ending, you know, there's like an additional yeah. mid credit. Uh, yeah, there's a mid credit scene, so yeah. make sure you stick around for that. Which is uh, very much worth watching just for that alone. I'd <laughs> yeah, say it's yeah, worth watching yeah. alone. Yeah, definitely. It was but, good. Uh, it was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, I'd say. it was a lot of fun. It's very funny. There's some really good jokes in it as well. Yeah. And um, yeah. yeah, I'd say that's definitely. It's definitely the best version watch. of a sequel we could have got. And I would absolutely of all of these, I'd probably watch this one. I'd watch. I'd rewatch all of this, and I would definitely buy a double bill on iTunes. Yeah, I would as well, to be fair. Yeah. Hopefully, in 10 years' time, we get a third one. Oh, God. I would love that. I hope this movie does well, though, to be fair. I think it will. I hope so. It's on, it's on, it's kind of matched at the moment, budget and box office 40 40. Yeah. So, it just needs a little bit more first weekend. Yeah, I think it'll be just fine. Yeah, I hope more people go and see it because it is a good time, so. Yeah. Yes, anyway, and, and it, you know, it doesn't do any, it doesn't ruin or like fuck up, which we'll get to in a minute. It doesn't fuck up an original movie that it's based on. Like, it doesn't suddenly like open up and Emma Stone gets killed. Could you imagine yeah. that? Like, the film opens and Emma Stone, the, the big thing is Emma Stone's in it and yeah. she just gets killed, killed first. Just straight off the bat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a really gruesome, yeah. out of nowhere. Just a really stupid killed. death. She just walks out on the road and gets run over. I would love that. Well, no, I'd. I'd uh, no. That would be funny, but that's I fucking hate that's it. That's something we would do. Yeah, well, that's something that's happening in the next movie. Mm. So, <laughs> we shall move on to the last film, which we saw. Terminator. Dark, Dark Fate. Fate. What was the story of this oh. one? <laughs> what was the story of this one? The story of Terminator 2, Dark basically. <laughs> it's the oh, same yeah. as every fucking Terminator before. Oh, God. I'd, I never wanted to see this film. Well, tough shit you did. You and forced me, I, and it was yeah. fucking shit. <laughs> no, you're absolutely wrong. Let me just get the cast up. So I'll, it was I'll do the boring. Cast. Fuck it was you. Fucking boring. So basically, Danny Ramos is essentially the John Connor, and Mackenzie yeah. Davis is the Terminator that gets sent back, but she's not a Terminator. Yeah. And uh, they're trying to fight off Gabriel Luna. Yeah. Who is a T eight hundred or the liquid thing? Yeah, well, he's not. I don't think he's actually given a name. No. So that they're the kind of three main players. And then Linda Hamilton comes in to help a bit, and then yeah. Arnold is also there. As well. Arnie's there, and um, yeah. So yeah. So it's Terminator three with them. Uh, Terminator two with those characters, basically. Mm. <coughs> what did you think of it? it was boring. I do not care for it. Nothing at all. No. Fuck you. I I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the first Good hour. Good for you. I enjoyed it until kind of Arnold Schwarzenegger came into it because then, as soon as Arnold's there, it just goes yeah. back to being a normal Terminator movie, which I'm not yeah. careful. But before that, I thought some of the stuff was like Danny, and it's set in um, Mexico, which is kind of cool. It yeah. Some of the factories are on there when they're working there. She was cool. I liked her. When too. they had that Mexican fight girl. in the factory with the bad Terminator guy, I thought that was sick, and he gets crushed, and he, oh, keeps, yeah, cool. he keeps running at him. He keeps coming back. I thought so. I thought the best thing in this, the only reason I really liked it, was because of Mackenzie Davis. Yeah. As that Tony. Yeah, she was, she was good at this. Actually. And her, some of her fights were, some of the action with her was pretty good. And yeah. continuing, I don't care much for action. I thought, yeah. all right, fair play. Linda Hamilton, yeah, she was fine being in it. Like, yeah. I don't really, yeah, it, it, she, it was fine. 
it's annoying that it's, some of the posters are just her, even though she's not really the main yeah, no. person. I thought Arnold was bearable in this. I thought yeah. he would be really fucking unbearable, but some of the lines, uh, and then it, uh, the the kind of the last the problem I had with the last hour of this movie is all it is is someone gets really badly hurt, but they come back. Again. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, he's really well, badly hurt, and like, he's come back. Oh, again. this is the ending. No, it's not. This yeah, is the exactly. ending. No, it's not. And it does that like five times with yeah. every character. Yeah. So it's like, it like you could have wrapped this up half hour ago. Yeah. So yeah. So the first hour is brilliant. Even if it's just for the action, it's worth watching just for that, and then it kind of falls apart at the end and gets a bit more generic. But no, yeah, I think Tim Miller's done well. It's weird to, it's weird that he did this instead of Deadpool two, but I think it could yeah, have worked out. Yeah, could have been worse. It could have been yeah, it could have been a lot worse. But yeah, I just I didn't think, didn't care. For, I haven't seen any of the others. I think it? people may have a problem with this, which is what we were just saying about how the whole point of Terminator two, which is what people say is the best Terminator movie. Yeah. The whole point of that is to protect um, Sean Connor, and they do. And you know, it's a great movie. They have the emotional moments at the end, and everyone loves it, and everyone yeah. had a good time. And now, 30 years later, the canon of that movie is that yeah. they escape that Terminator, Terminator 2 ends, yeah. and they go into hiding, and then he just gets killed. Anyway, spoilers. Yeah, he just <laughs> and gets then killed Ed, anyway. yeah, Edward Furlong <laughs> just gets shot at yeah. a, like a, a random bar. bar. Yeah, by Arnold. Arnold and I love I love how bad it is how Linda Hamilton looks like de-aged and she yeah. looked, that looked kind of good yeah. he didn't look as good de-aged because no. they had to de-age a full grown man yeah. back down to a 13 year old boy yeah and uh, yeah I just love how Arnold just fills the screen up as he yeah. walks he's massive <laughs> yeah he's got like beard he's got the he's glasses got, on he's got really thick yeah. hair and then you see him later on and it, it spoilers again it's the same Terminator yeah and he's got like grey and his hairline's yeah. gone back gone. a little bit. Yeah, he's losing <laughs> he's it a bit. Isn't it? A bit. Yeah. It's, but, uh, it's got to him. Yeah. yeah. So I'd be if I was a Terminator Two fan, which luckily I'm not, I would be fucking well pissed if Yeah, you would. The whole point of that movie just suddenly is got irrelevant. What's the point of that movie now? Yeah, exactly. The whole mother child, them two being yeah. together in her them two living on the run together is just yeah, it's all gone. Literally, it looks like the next week. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like a week yeah. later. A week's gone by. Oh, yeah. he's shaved his head. He's grown out a grey beard. He's just got shot down. Yeah. So, yeah. So, other than that, I, I think yeah, it's not too bad. It's, That's just. I think that like was, this movie's just. End. This movie's just an excuse to get Arnie back on the big screen. Yeah, with, even though he was, yeah. he he fucking returned to the Terminator yeah. franchise three years ago. With so. Linda Hamilton as well. Let's get them back on yeah, the big screen. It's cool to see. I'm surprised Linda Hamilton did it. And if like she didn't do Terminator Genesis, the one before. Yeah. But uh, also, I love with this movie, and I hate it when franchise try and do it. like um, DC is struggling with this at the moment. Where so there's Terminator one to three, and mm. then there's like a Salvation one, Genesis. And now this, but yeah. this movie wants you to ignore the last three movies, yeah. so that it just takes place after Terminator Two, and it just bypasses Everything Terminator else. Three, Salvation, just... and the one that came yeah. in way there, twenty fifteen, four years ago. They had a fucking Terminator movie four years ago, and they're trying to already eradicate it from. Yeah. The timeline, so they're overcomplicated. Everything. Yeah, so I hate. I I do love it when films try and do this because yeah. when you get like a casual film fan that's maybe just gone to see it and yeah. doesn't know that this movie's supposed to just take place yeah. straight after that, it could be quite confusing. So yeah, yes. So just learn from your mistakes. Don't make another one. I think that would be definitely a bit just out. leave it there. Nail firmly in the coffin. Yes. Don't yes. touch. Don't touch. The this horse again. has been beaten to, to death. death. Stop. Yes. Get some help. <laughs> <laughs> Please. He's like, stop it. Get some help. <laughs> You're ruining it. <laughs> You're ruining it. <laughs> but it's yeah. already dead. So yeah. Well, I think that's gonna wrap us up. Would you watch Dark Fate again? No. I would watch the first hour of it. Not at all. Why you would don't I? know what you're talking about. I do oh, not. Well, Linda about. Hamilton got top billing of this over Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Arnie, you got to sort that out. This surprised me. He's put himself second on the poster. I thought he would be the fourth. You know, it's and yeah, or with, with yeah. Arnold. the Samuel Jackson role. Yeah, but no, he still wants to be as high up as he can. Yeah. He's, he doesn't have the box office appeal like he used to. <laughs> not at all. No. Not boring. And even back then, it was. Debatable. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 yeah. He's probably going to be 
running out of steam. So. I, I hope so. Just oh, I stop it. Yeah, stop yeah. it. Please. He's made his money. He's made his disgusting so, uh, you know, money. Let's throw Sylvester Sloan in there as well. Yeah, well yeah, yeah. You two, this I'm going to sit him down. Stop it. We, here's what we're going to do. I've just invented this. We're going to make, from now on, a retirement pot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every episode, let's chuck probably until we give it up. We'll chuck him in the retirement pot. We'll, ch- <laughs> we'll chuck someone into the retirement pot. <laughs> so let's define some... this, yeah. That means you can still you, know, you can still make movies. Just don't try and be like the front and centre yeah. person. You know, just take a step back so now. Let someone else shine. You know, retire from being the front man. Yeah, retire you, from being the front man. You need to be, what's, Sam Jackson's the perfect thing for this. Yeah, he's, he's, he's retired the, beautifully. Yeah, because he'll be in a he's big like movie. He's like a fine wine. He'll, <laughs> he's in a big movie, but he's the with or yeah. an and. Yeah. That's where some people and need. And that's where you two exactly. need to be. Like Stop if, being a massive ego flex. Exactly. And, so like, when you look at Stallone, I'm just going to quickly get this up now. If you were to look at what Stallone's uh, last films were, I bet it would be something like shit, won't it? Okay, so obviously Rambo, yeah, he put himself front and centre. Expendables re- movies, he put himself front and centre. Would he be front and centre of the Creed films? No. Bastard. Oh, wait, yeah, let's check that actually, because he might. Creed, let's have a look at the Creed. Ah, uh, yeah, he did. He's, yeah, see, he's, he's put him, he's got a second billing where you could argue someone else could. He should be with, he, for Creed 2, he should be with Arnold, uh, with Sylvester yeah, Stallone. Yeah, Creed, like the first Creed film, Michael B. Jordan, Sylvester Stallone. But he, he's still, he's joint with Michael B. Jordan there. Yeah, exactly. That, Stop it. That's not fun. Even here, back, he did a film called Backtrace with a person he should be the with Stallone Creed 2 yeah he's still there stop it you don't need to be top billing yeah it's time to hit, put him in the retirement pot there we go we and told him yeah there we go there we go so we've opened it with two yeah I'm going to make a note of this make a note of the retirement pot chuck him in there let them rot I'm sure over the coming weeks it will kind of be more defined yeah so yeah, well, that was that fun segment <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that we just made go. up. On the spot, it's a good segment. Yeah, very. And uh, yeah, well, I think that's probably going to wrap us up. Yeah, lovely way to end. Um, thank you for listening and mm. take care. Bye. Bye-bye.